Hey guys and welcome to a new video on this channel, I'm Sabi from Code Revolution. So let me tell you about the latest issue I am confronted with. So I got <clears throat> this email from HostGator. So I have one of my websites on HostGator and uh, until now to be honest I was not aware that they are limiting the amount of CPU usage on their shared plans. I know I am guilty of this, I was not aware of this, however, uh, a couple of days ago I got this email stating that they deactivated one of my websites that was using more CPU as allowed, more than the 25% of the system CPU for over 90 seconds i uh, understand so because of this they deactivated my website the website was wpinitiate.com so this was is uh, is actually the website because it's just temporarily deactivated and uh, the issue is that i had all my uh, wordpress plugin demos uh, my purchase code verification uh, system here so I had pretty uh, much infrastructure from uh, the content that uh, I was using with my plugins on this site so uh, this is a lecture for me because I know now that shared hosting has its limitations and uh, I should not uh, rely on shared hosting for this kind of stuff that uh, uses much more processing power than they allow to. So this is not a scam, the HostGator email is not a scam or they don't want to uh, get more money out of me or something they have clearly defined rules and the site that I had uh, broke these rules and used more resources than allowed so right down here they state that uh, there were many processes running for a long period of time and uh, we can see here snapshots of processes and the main page was loading for more time than it is allowed okay so how i responded to this uh i responded that i will fix i i will try to fix the website and i replied to this email with an email that i stated that please allow me to access my website and I will try to fix it and improve its performance. So they allowed me to access the website and uh, I made some performance optim optimizations on it. Mainly I deactivated uh, all the plugins, I will also be moving away, away all the demo sites of my plugins from this specific website. I will leave here only some things that will not stress the CPU of this host that much. And after I fixed the website, this is the mail I sent to them. So I updated the site, done the following changes, deactivated all unnecessary plugins, limited the crawl rate on Google and Bing. So as instructed here, so I have these links from their uh, help uh, and knowledge base. Installed fastest cache, cache for caching the site, upgraded to latest WordPress, upgraded PHP, replaced WP cron with server site cron as advised here. And I forgot to say also to, that I updated all plugins. This can be also said because this is also uh, improving performance in most cases. Also, I asked them about uh, the how can we upgrade from shared hosting to cloud hosting, because I saw that the cloud hosting that they 
provide will not uh, ban your site if you pass the CPU usage that they allow but instead they will throttle your CPU usage and this throttling is dynamic they will dynamically reduce your CPU power to 25% if you use too much CPU and if you stop using the CPU you see your CPU power for the server will go up again so uh, also this seems to be pretty affordable compared with the shared plans okay so this is my reply email to them and these are their resources I linked here in the email I will link this I will add uh, this email in this video's description so if you guys have this issue you can use this email template that I sent and only modify it a bit and don't forget to also apply these changes to your website because otherwise they might not activate your website back on full power. So these are the steps that you should make uh, to optimize WordPress. These are um, also you have the CPU resource usage graph. If you log into your HostGator control panel you will be able to scroll down here and you will see here two important things processes and CPU loads. So if we check processes we will have here listed the processes that are running on our site. So if we refresh this page here we will see that a new process will appear which will load the plugins here on our admin page. Also another important stuff important thing here is the CPU load this will uh, give us a graph with the CPU usage uh, of our system so this graph if you check it after they ban your account will for sure look uh, that the green line here which is in my case zero in most cases uh, passes the red line and reaches extreme heights here and in these cases they will uh, ban the shared hosting account and will restrict access to the site and will send you this unfortunate email that you have to make optimizations to your site or move to a, a other hosting plan okay so these are the plugins on my site right now i deactivated almost every plugin i left only context form the adsense plugin gdpr and site verification plugin these are the four plugins that i left active i had many many more plugins here on my site but these are all temporarily deactivated now and uh, yeah Probably after I gain access, full access to the site once again, I will uh, uh, reactivate them one by one or uh, replace them with some that are that have better performance. So yeah, this is the site right now. Uh, also, one thing to say that when they shut down your site, a static version of your site will be displayed this means that if you have wordpress your front page will still be visible but other pages if you go to other pages they will not be visible anymore and they will give an error but the front page of your site would render but statically as a static html page okay and another thing that needs to be said is after you reply to this email they will they will reactivate your website and they will put a http password on your site and they will send it to you so only you will be able to access the site and you will be able to make fixes to its performance okay so uh this is how you can 
uh, fix stuff and uh, yeah I hope this video will be helpful to you guys because this is how you can recover your site after uh, HostGator uh, restricted it because you used too much CPU time um, yeah so keep in mind deactivate all unnecessary plugins at least until you gain uh, your account back and then activate them but keep an eye on the CPU usage here on the resource graph on your cPanel limit the crawl rate from Google and Bing I will link these uh, articles in this video description install a caching plugin upg upgrade to the WordPress latest WordPress version upgrade to the latest PHP version and replace WP cron with server side cron because this will also provide some performance benefit. Okay, so this is all for this video. I hope I uh, this video helped you guys. And if you are in this situation that HostGator will uh, block your website, you will know what to do. And I hope that they will. Uh, grant your website back to you and will uh, give it access to it once again okay so this is all if this was helpful for you don't forget to subscribe to this channel I release new videos each day at 8 p.m. GMT so hit also the bell notification to get notified each time I get uploaded a new video here on this channel okay so guys this is all for now I hope uh, once again, it was helpful and until next time, have a great day, stay safe, bye-bye.